Ravi, as the NBA waits until May to reassess its shutdown, Commissioner Adam Shelf Sh Silver has encouraged employees to present their ideas. According to Brian Windhorse, one of the proposed ideas is a 25-day program for players to go through before resuming gameplay. Under the plan, players would go through an 11-day stretch of individual workouts where they could maintain some measure of social dis dis distancing while ramping up training and activity. If permitted by medical officials, there could be then a two week training camp with entire teams taking part. However, there is concern that two weeks is not long enough for players to be ready for a return to live game action. Important to note that this plan is in the event that games are resumed at all, which is uncertain at this point. Mark Cuban on a podcast with Kentucky coach John Calipari. I'm a big believer that there are scientists out there, doctors out there that are going to get this figured out. And we will get to a point where we have those vaccines, we have those therapies, we have those preventive me measures. Um, we know how to keep things clean. We'll get there, right? I just don't know when. The summer may be eliminated. Our players have to decide whether to stay in the draft or pull their name out. That has to be flexible. But you know what, Cal, as you know as well as anybody, where there's change, there's opportunity. And this is the opportunity to really look at things that didn't work well before and change it all. If the NCAA can't get it right, maybe it's time to say goodbye to the NCAA. NBA insider Brian Windhorst joining us now on SportsCenter. Let's play one scenario here. and Let's assume they get clearance to play here, the NBA. What have you heard about how long it could take before they can play games? Yeah, so Kevin, there's a number of people talking about this. And, you know, one of the ideas, as you just mentioned, was a 25 day plan. Whether it's 25 days or 28 days or 31 days, what I think is most important in talking to people around the league is they have got to build in time. There is a lot of concern amongst uh, medical staffs out there. Players have just are not playing basketball. Jason Tatum did an interview on the jump today where he said he hasn't played basketball in a month. I mean, he hasn't done that since he was a toddler. And so they really Really, really want to build in a series of weeks to be able to to, to build back up, and uh, that's one of the things that, as you look at all of these scenarios and start messing with the calendar, has got to be built in. And, and whether it's a certain amount of days over three or four weeks or even longer, that is one thing that everybody is universally aligned on. Okay, uh, patience is the key, as we do not know about the future. One thing we know is some major changes inside the Bulls organization as they hired Arturis Karnisovas as executive. Executive VP of Basketball Operations. They fired Gar Foreman and moved John Paxson to a new role. What do these changes mean now for the future of Coach Jim Boylan? Yeah, this has been something that's been discussed heavily within the league uh, over the last week or so. Um, you know, Arturis today in a conference call said that he wanted to play with pace and he wanted to play with high tempo passing. And that's just not the way that the Bulls have played under Jim Boylan. It was actually the way they wanted to play under Fred Hoiberg, but Boylan represented a bit of a step back to, to more traditional style. So it doesn't fit Boylan's style. That said, he will give him an opportunity to, uh, to, to talk and get to know each other. Uh, there's a decent chance there's going to be a change there, just as there was in the front office. But right now, uh, he has time, and I think he intends to use it to evaluate his decisions. Uh, the last time the Bulls made the playoffs, you got to go back to the 2016 2017 season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN. Plus.